what's going on everyone welcome back to my youtube channel sorry that i haven't posted in a while i just haven't been working that much on my car since you guys last saw i've changed a few things here and there nothing that was ever a big issue but just stuff that i found preference over while i've been driving the car i've successfully done like a thousand five hundred kilometers on it now so the motor's pretty much run in now there are a few things that i want to do I don't want to rush the whole process, I want to do a few more upgrades performance wise before going to take it with the final dyno tune. I want to get a better fuel pressure regulator as well as get some bigger brakes for the car because it definitely needs it. But other than that, it's been driving perfect, sounds so awesome when in like slight boost. Finally got my boost gauge working so I can see now where it is running. But yeah, to all the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. This is my Mark 1 Golf 2 litre 8 valve turbocharged. You've pretty much joined at the most exciting time of the channel. I'm now going to do all the small touches here and there before we finally take it for a dyno tune. Push for some power. Then we can go have some fun on the street and take it to Kalani. I'm looking so forward to it. It has been such a temptation not being able to put my foot flat while in this car. It makes all the right noises and I couldn't be happier. As you guys know, I only get two days a week to work on my car and those are my off days from work. So I am grinding hard. As you can see, I have parked the car now, put on stands. It's now time to start getting on and getting a lot of stuff done on this car. So today I've got a few hours to work on the car. Let me turn you around and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So this is pretty much where we are at the moment nothing's changed at all i haven't had a single issue whatsoever the car runs nice and cool i can drive it in traffic i've pretty much put it through every scenario possible what i'm going to do in the future there's my fuel pressure regulator sitting over there i'm going to get a malpussy fuel pressure regulator they are the best and the most reliable when you are boosting a motor fuel pressure is vital and it has to stay consistent so it is an expensive upgrade but definitely worth it so what i'm going to do today is pull apart the engine and the chassis loom i know everything is pretty much right so what i'm going to do is pull them apart cut all the cable ties separate them and then i'm going to cover them in some nice fabric tape and then also what i'm going to do is i've pretty much realized my wastegate over here i can't put the dump tube for it see it's meant to come off that flange there I can't do anything with it it get, comes way too close to the exhaust so what I'm going to do is flip this 180 degrees so that that opening where the flange is sits on this side and then we're going to build a wastegate pipe to come straight out of the bonnet it's not what I wanted to do but it's pretty much the only option I have with this tight space that this sits in so let me sit you guys down and let's get to it.
going on everyone? I'm back. Sorry for just ditching you guys the last time. I only had an hour to work on my car and I got quite a bit done on the engine loom. But I had to run and go get a few other things done. I'm back today. I've got a lot more time on my hands. I'm going to finish off the wiring looms. Make sure those are all buttoned up, all the earths are back on. And once I've done that, I'm going to move on to the wastegate. I just have to rotate it 180 degrees. I'll be able to put the flange on and then we can work on the dump pipe for the wastegate. The only option that I can see at the moment, I have to rotate it because the only thing I can do with it facing downwards is recirculate it back into the exhaust. But for now, what I'm going to do is rotate it 180 degrees and then I think we're going to send it straight out of the hood. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. So in the whole process of cleaning this engine bay up and doing everything the way I wanted to do it initially, I've got two fans strapped to the radiator and the whole time I've been driving the car, they've both been connected on one switch and the car runs super cool. So what I actually want to do is, or well, what I have done here is wired each fan to a separate relay and then those relays are going to go to separate switches inside. So the one fan is already run. I'm just going to use that same power wire. I've crimped and added a second one. So there's the two power wires to run to the front. This is going to be my second earth, which is going to match this one. And then I've got my signal wire that goes to the switch. And then I just need to run one more wire here, probably a jump from this plug, which will be now our constant positive that now the fans draw power from when the relays are activated. So I'm going to carry on. Let's see where it gets us. I'm just a fake silhouette, avoiding every threat. So, so that took a bit longer than expected. I wired both fans onto their own individual relays. I'll wire the switch in when I start working inside under the dashboard. It took a bit longer than what I thought it was going to do, but I'm very happy with the outcome. Everything is sorted, cable tied away, and I at least don't have to revisit any of it. I hope it all is gonna work, but I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I've done so far, and then we'll move on to the wastegate. Right, so as you can see there, there's both the relays for each fan. All the wiring goes neatly down the side. Everything's been covered. Came out really, really awesome. You can see down there, the uh, shadow's playing a bit of games now. You can see down there, I've separated the chassis and the engine management looms. Uh, all runs neatly down there. Everything all wired, all sorted and out the way. So it's a small thing that didn't have to be done, but I'm very glad that it is done. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this wastegate off, rotate it 180 degrees so this flange sits at the top, and we're going to make a downpipe from there coming out. I'm going to sit you guys down and get straight to it. It's only held on with four bolts. One side's an Allen cap and the other side is 13 millimeter nut. So I'm just going to loosen them all off. Okay, 
so this isn't exactly what I was expecting. Let me see if I can get you guys close here. As you can see, if I bolt it up, I won't be able to get those rear two bolts in over there. So what I'm going to do is cut a slit and cut this bar out so that I can now make space to get in there. It's not ideal, I know, but it's the only option I have and I can't run it down underneath. It's just there's too much stuff that gets in the way. So I'm going to cut it. Let's get back to it. So I have the flange here with a whole bunch of pie cuts that I've made. So what I'm going to do now is tack these, line them up and tack these one on top of each other. Once they all tacked on, I'm going, to I'm going to take this out the vise and then we'll mock it up on the car to see how it sits. I probably won't do the final welding today. Hope you'll be mocked up good enough just to weld all the final welds next time. Alright guys, so as you can see here, quickly bolted it up. I think it looks quite cool. It is a bit skew, so I think I just need to cut a few tacks between those um, pie cuts and then I'll be able to rotate it straight. It's sitting slightly to the right. You can see there and it's rotated also to the right. So. I've just got it quickly tacked on as you saw we do. I kind of like where it sits. I don't know if it's going to cause trouble. I'll have to put the hood back on. I think it's really cool. I might just run it like that for a while and see how it goes. I mean, it's not like it's going to be open the entire time. But yeah, happy with the progress. I'm getting everything done. That's all the tedious jobs that I didn't want to do initially. Joe, very happy with it. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I know for you guys, it'll probably be about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. But for me, I've been here for already five hours today. I've gotten all the lacquer cuck jobs done. That downpipe I wasn't looking forward to doing as well as all the wiring. I'm very glad that I'm making lacquer progress on it now. There are still a few more things. I need to pull the windscreen out to tuck the roof liner in. I need to put a breather on the fuel tank and a whole bunch of those kind of things. And there's a whole bunch of other and there's a whole bunch of other small things that I need to do that are quite interesting. Again, thank you guys for all the awesome support. Thank you all the new subscribers. We got some interesting stuff coming along. We're going to have to get this baby tuned soon and then we can go have some fun at Kalani. But I really appreciate everyone joining and coming along for the ride. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, please. It really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm already just over 400, so I'm very certain we can get there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And hit that bell icon for a notification every time I upload. Thanks again, everyone. You all are awesome. Have a good one, everyone. See you in the next one.